CataractCoach.com, where did the hemi-nucleus go? With special guest surgeon Dr. Ravi Prasad Chala from India. Very interesting case here. So, of course, this is a white, mature cataract, and he's going to use the double rexus technique. going to make a small central capsulotomy, and notice this is done with just a paracentesis incision, so that the anterior chamber is highly pressurized. Then the second rexus can be done afterwards, and you can see that looks beautiful. Beautiful rexus here. Sculpting a central groove now for a stop and chop type procedure. Everything looks pretty routine in this case. So nice good central groove. And then going to crack this and split it into two halves. And as a result of having a thick fibrous posterior plate, you don't get a good separation here. So that's, you see the nucleus is split, but not centrally. So now more viscoelastics going inside the eye. And he's going to use a couple of Sinsky hooks to do some manipulation, try to separate the nucleus. Here's where I want you to watch very carefully. As the two halves are separated, look how far apart they are. Look at that huge gap between the two pieces. Wow, where's the piece that's sub-incisional? There's that last bridge that's being broken. Now if we have two fully separated halves. But where's the proximal hemi-nucleus. It's under the iris in the sub space. Where did the nucleus go, the hemi-nucleus? Well, half of the hemi-nucleus has gone through a defect at the capsular bag equator. So the sub capsular bag equator. So the surgeon here, Dr. Chala, is going to phaco aspirate and remove, chop up the first hemi-nucleus. Going to just take his time there. And again, the second hemi-nucleus is still under the sub-incisional iris. Very unusual case. To have a, a break or a violation of the capsular bag at the equator is very unusual. I'm very thankful for Dr. Chala for sending this case because this is something you don't see very often. At best, once every few thousand surgeries. So now, only half the nu nucleus is gone. One hemi-nucleus is gone. The second piece is still there. And it's underneath the subincisional iris. Look, it comes forward. As the anterior chamber is depressurized, that piece comes forward again. So as you pressurize, it disappears. So we need to get that piece up under the iris, goes this, this Sinsky hook, and we're going to bring that piece centrally. And Dr. Chal is going to just take his time here, and he's going to do a beautiful technique here. And he's still, it's still stuck. There's the hemi-nucleus. You can see it. Now, we don't advocate fishing in the vitreous cavity. That's going to cause issues. But here he's doing it in a very safe manner, and the piece is not in the vitreous cavity. It's through that defect, but it's not floating in mid-vitreous. And here he successfully brought the second hemi-nucleus up, more viscoelastic, create a barrier, keep that second hemi-nucleus up. And he's also very smartly using that nasal angle, keeping that piece pushed against the nasal angle is very good because that prevents it from slipping through the pupil. We don't want that to happen. He actually has an intact central posterior capsule here. So there's the second hemonucleus. It can now be emulsified. So this is a very unusual case. I'm really happy that we're able to watch and learn from this masterful technique. Is absolutely saved. Now, would I have faulted you if you said just let the piece go back and have my vitreoretinal colleague do a pars planal lensectomy? No, that'd be perfectly fine. And in some cases, if you're unable to reach the piece, I agree. Let it go. Don't fish for it. So now that the nucleus is entirely removed, he's going to fill our capsular bag here. And he's going to insert the lens. So there's the viscoelastic being put in the eye. Here comes the eye well. Now, what are your options here? He's going to do a hydrophobic acrylic single-piece lens in the capsular bag. As long as you rotate it 90 degrees away from that defect, I think you'll be okay. Other options would be a three-piece lens in the sulcus, again, with the haptics rotated 90 degrees away from the defect. And finally, at the end here, the viscoelastic can be removed. So, very good technique. We really enjoyed this very unusual case. Again, Capsule rupture or capsule defect at the capsular bag equator in the sub area. And half the nucleus disappeared and then came back. And at the end, it ended up beautifully. Thank you for watching.